Why do people wear AirPods in public? The first question you may ask upon hearing my question is, who cares? How does this affect you, you ignorant dick? Well, here's how. Anytime I see someone doing something I don't quite understand, I see that as an opportunity to understand that person better, to really walk a mile in their shoes. I seek a life of truly understanding my fellow man. Which is why I'm asking the question, why these uncurable freaks wear AirPods in public? I'm not talking about wearing AirPods when going on a walk or when going to the gym. No, no, no. I'm talking about people who wear AirPods everywhere, like to the grocery store. Why would you wear AirPods to the grocery store? Not even to have phone calls, just to listen to music while you're walking around picking up groceries. The immediate response to this is social anxiety. They wear AirPods because of social anxiety, which is exactly why I would not wear AirPods out in the grocery store. That would give me an immense amount of social anxiety. What if someone's trying to talk to you? What if you're in somebody's way? The grocery store is an ecosystem. It's, it's a network. There's constant traffic going this way and that way. Half the time I'm at a grocery store, I feel like I'm getting in other people's way even though I'm there for the exact same reason, they are there. So I often go to the grocery store at very desolate times, not busy times. I'll go in the morning before work. I'll sit there in the parking lot, waiting for the hungover 19 year old to unlock the doors to the store. And then I go in racing to pick up all the food I'll need for that week. Another reason people may wear AirPods when out and about is because of isolation slash focus. Listening to music helps them focus on the tasks they have at hand. Yet again, another reason I could not wear AirPods when out and about in that environment that would distract me, that would not help me focus. It seems like additional unwanted stimuli in these kind of environments. Likewise, you have concerns of theft. You have security concerns. There could be a fire, and yet you are too fired up on listening to Fireball by Pitbull. Now, the darkest of all these things, the, the bleakest part of society I often see in these situations is people wearing their AirPods in the grocery store when they have their young children with them. You may say, well, you don't get it. You don't have kids. <laughs> exactly, which is why I would not be wearing AirPods if I had to watch over and protect young children. If they're trying to get your attention, you may not hear them. You may be distracted. You may not be focused on your children. So what does it all mean then? What, what does it mean that some people it's just impossible for them to leave their door unless they have their AirPods in? How did we get to this point? We are in constant need of constant stimuli. We need a consistent stream of media. We can't handle the silence because when you are in silence, you are alone with your own thoughts. But here's the thing. If you feel lonely when you are by yourself, that is not good news for the company you are in. If you can maintain peace and enjoyment when you are by yourself, then you are in excellent company. When you are alone, you are all one. A couple of years ago, I started going on runs without music. Of course, when I go to the gym and I'm on the treadmill and everyone's wearing AirPods there, everyone's kind of doing their own thing, you don't really get in others' ways. But when I go outside and run, I stopped listening to music. And what happened was I became faster. I started to become more in the moment, more in tune with listening to my body. And from there, I was able to reach deeper levels of physical accomplishment, more enlightened levels of mental understanding. So no matter what we do, no matter how mundane or monotonous things are, we must always remember to really just soak it in. Washing the dishes in silence is awful, but therapeutic 
at the same time. We have almost forgotten what it means to be human. But there are easy ways to remember that. It doesn't take much effort to have these fleeting glimpses again of what it means to truly be a human being. And in those small, seemingly meaningless moments, we find the meaning for everything.